everyone i hope you're well welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is seppi and in today's video i'm basically going to be catching up with you guys and answering a lot of your questions i asked you on instagram what you guys want to see other than my vlogs because i feel like i film a lot of vlogs and fashion videos but i want to know like what else you guys want to see from me so i can film that for you so a lot of you guys have basically said that you want to do like a catch up like q a mukbang type of video or even a lot of you were saying that like you just want to like ask me questions relationship advice stuff and i'm so down to do that so um i will let you guys ask your questions on there if you don't follow me on instagram make sure you do it's persian bunny but i just thought it's about time that we sit down have a chat i'm actually gonna treat myself to a mcdonald's today um because i just feel like having a fillet of fish burger meal i'll see what else i fancy but i i haven't had i think since lockdown ended i've had mcdonald's like maybe once or twice so i'm actually looking forward to this and i fancy a burger so yeah we're gonna treat ourselves um and i'm gonna go ahead and answer questions so my camera doesn't sit where i've left you guys so i can't even like drive and chat to you or like i don't know go to mcdonald's and get the food and like i don't know if it will sit properly so i might have to go back in the house but hopefully i can find someone to leave the camera whilst i'm eating hopefully i can find somewhere to like lean the camera um and then yeah i'm just gonna change the music and we're gonna head off right now i keep listening to this old song called drip too hard you can get the biggest in there back in the store if you want it hello, hello. hey please can i have a fillet o fish meal fillet o fish meal for dinner. uh can i have it with a diet coke please yeah, yeah. and can i get um mozzarella dippers as well please yeah that's it Right, thank you thank you bye so guys we have secured the bag we have i think this one's just sauces yeah this one is the sauces in case you guys are wondering what i order in mcdonald's i get she's giving me salsa dip i think that's for the mozzarella stuff but um i get sweet curry sauces and then i have some fries naughty and then mozzarella sticks i don't always get this but fillet of fish burgers are so tiny that like you're not gonna get full off just a fillet of fish burger and if you do you're not okay get off this channel no, i'm joking but yeah this isn't like it's not the most filling burger it's literally tiny if you guys aren't from the uk look how tiny that is please what am i gonna do with this imagine this was like your whole meal i just can't that's so small um but usually i get double cheeseburger with big mac sauce but i don't know why i just really fancied the fillet of fish burger so that is what we're going with and i've got some diet coke yes i love coke with ice honestly it hits different let me have a bite by the way I had literally missed that so much. Okay, so I'm gonna start reading the questions that you guys sent in and try and answer them. I've gone from the bottom and the first one says, how old are you? I am 24 years old. My birthday is on the 15th of March. So I am a Pisces. So yeah, I'm gonna be 25 next year. Also, Sorry if it annoys you, the sound of me eating, but I guess that's what mukbangs are about. <music> Next person said, would you prefer Iran or London? So in terms of like living, I've only ever lived in London, so I can't say if I prefer one or the other. So I guess that's a like really hard question to answer, but I love Iran. I love going on holiday there, but obviously as I've never lived there, like I think it's hard for me to say like, oh, I would prefer to live in Iran. Um, but I think it's really nice. Like that's why I love going on holidays like Istanbul, Iran, like Dubai, etc. Because I love the Middle Eastern culture. Like it's like the culture that I've grown up in. So yeah, like I love being around like that vibe. It reminds me of home and like my house and what that's like. So yeah, I love Iran. Next question, would you prefer to marry an Iranian or someone outside of your country? Um, 
I don't have any preference of like if someone is Iranian or not Iranian or like where the person's from. I think so long as we get along well, like they have a nice personality that goes with mine. They're trusting, loyal, respectful. You know, that's what matters. And like you obviously have to have a spark, like a chemistry, otherwise it's not gonna work. So, yeah. Sorry guys, I feel more comfortable sitting like this. Um, I feel like you guys were like too far up there and I was like leaning over. Okay, next question. Are you th thinking of getting your own place soon? I love living with my parents, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, but sometimes it would be nice to like have my own space. I think especially with like the quarantine period and everything, it's shown me like, um, I guess like it would be nice like to be like the next stage of life, to be like, I've got a job now and um, to like have my own apartment or my own house or whatever so i guess that would be nice but like not right right now maybe within like the next year so i would think about it it's in my mind but i don't have any immediate plans no i don't know how people film these it's so hard sorry for talking with my mouth full this literally goes against everything i've been taught by my parents in terms of etiquette next question tips on how to get a guy to dm you and no those insta stories don't work either <laughs> okay so how to get a guy to dm you it's a tough one because like why don't you dm him first are you in a situation where you can see each other in real life like face to face if so like why not try it that way you know what i mean like rather than try and get him to like dm you um that would be like better but if you want him to dm you i guess post more insta stories so you can reply to them that would be my first tip um second tip would be maybe reply to one of his stories one of my friends like replies to guys stories i don't have the confidence to do that with a guy that i like like if i like a guy i usually wait for them to make a move i've never made a move first which one of my friends said i was weird for but i guess everyone's different i guess you can reply to one of his stories see what he says also never chase a guy you can always tell the guy likes you he'll make the effort for you he'll like actually want to message you or go out of his way to like dm you or something if you feel like you're trying too hard there's probably a one-sidedness thing going on there so don't like get your hopes too much like don't get your hopes up too much for it and like actually think about like going after someone who's worthy of your time and like actually is texting you all day or calling you all day or messaging you or replying to your stories or telling you you're beautiful or i don't know like anything like that because if you haven't had that yet trust me we'll come along there'll be a time where someone does do that and if you haven't had that in a while remember when you did have that and remember like not to settle because i think like settling is like a lot of like what my i see that like, my friends do all the time even i was i guess doing it at some points where i felt like i had to make the effort um because sometimes guys get really complacent with like the fact that like girls are just like coming after them rather than like them having to be a bit more of like i don't know because i'm a bit old school like i like a guy who makes an effort and goes out of his way the only time i make an effort and like i try and go after like a guy to hang out with is when they're my friend so like that's the only time you will see me messaging like yo when we're going to dinner when we're doing this when we're doing that and like i'm really confident about it because i don't really want anything more than that but if i fancy them i feel like if you're messaging them and they're not messaging you they're not even playing games like i just think like maybe there's there's a one-sidedness to it sorry i don't know if like that's really harsh but i just think don't settle like wait till like there's a guy chasing you in your dms or trying to get your number or like texting you every day don't settle hun next question says have you ever wanted to move to the u.s so one of my friends um recently keeps talking to me about moving to like los angeles or um miami I like countries with a hot climate and I've never visited America so I think I have to visit before I can decide if I'd ever want to live there but I'm open to moving out of the UK for sure and moving to somewhere with a warmer climate because I just love hot weather. Never say never but for now I don't know. Guys I'm usually such a greedy person like I eat really fast I can't believe how slowly I'm eating this I'm proud of myself. I'm trying to find the first bit of this but it seems like there is no first bit to this so I'm just going to read what it says says it's been two months and he started to become more distant with texts and calls but we usually meet every week should i be worried like i just said if he isn't making effort like don't get your hopes up too much because i think if a guy really likes you he, he knows how to show you um and i think it's a two-way street the guys watching this if a girl likes you she'll respond to your text she'll want to hang out with you she'll tell you when she's free don't like put up with like 
her being like a bit flaky or like just texting you when she feels lonely because she's being blanked by the guy that she actually likes because there's loads of people who actually do that yeah if you're a guy and a girl's told you she isn't into you and then all of a sudden like she's into you whatever it sounds like she's playing games cut her off too so it's a two-way street but if a guy's like being more distant what's his excuse you could ask him first but then if he doesn't really have a good excuse for it like don't sit there twiddling your thumbs waiting for him because life goes on and there's plenty of fish in the sea okay next question says are you in a relationship or looking to get into a relationship um no i'm not in a relationship first of all and second of all no right now i'm not looking to get into a relationship i've just started work things are going really well with that and i have a few like career plans goals and stuff that i really want to do and um travel more and hang out with my friends more i'm not saying if i met someone tonight and like i really like them and they asked me out and it progressed that i'd be like no 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 sorry i've still got stuff to do but like in terms of like oh actively and openly like looking for a relationship or looking for someone or wanting to settle down i'm not there yet so no next question says any advice on love how to get over your fear of commitment or fear of abandonment okay so i personally really believe that like if do i have something on my lips sorry i personally really believe like with someone who's right for you if you know you just know and like it clicks and if there's any like red flags in your mind or anything stopping you i feel like it's always there for a reason so trust your instincts and like think to yourself why am i worried that this person will like not be with me and another thing is it's not fair for you to carry forward what someone else has done with you to the next relationship and you have to remind yourself that because just because one person it's like to my in my opinion it's like stereotyping like for example if i say i'm iranian and then guys are like oh iranian girls are all trouble i'm like oh like you're one of them ones like please stop talking to me like, i really can't be bothered for you because i'm not into stereotyping like it's not good so it's not fair for you to stereotype that your previous relationship is going to be a reflection of your next one if everyone was the same then the world wouldn't progress would it so don't think that everyone's gonna be the same don't think that the last guy's gonna be like the next guy or the last girl's gonna be like the next girl and um yeah keep your wits about you in the beginning and like if you're getting the signal that like you don't feel 100 percent confident enough to let go and catch feelings for someone then there must be something stopping you right something about them that's stopping you maybe so bear that in mind but like in terms of if it's from a previous relationship like fears from that then i think you just need to teach yourself to like let it go like not everyone's the same and yeah you can't like judge one experience by like every other experience it's like everything in life is like that you can't judge everything by one one bad experience a lot of my friends also have like multiple bad experiences with the guys and like i feel like and then they're like oh like all men are the same or all men da, 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 da. and then i just feel like again like maybe you should think about the type of guy you're going after or the type of person you're going after like let's say you're always attracted to the guy you met at the club who is talking to loads of girls and then you always get your heart broken or this and that like you have to look at what their personality is like and maybe you're attracting the wrong traits or you're attracting the wrong character of person and that's why you end up getting hurt so you have to make sure that the person who you want to commit to also wants to commit like you can't force someone into wanting to commit with you just because you really like them okay i guess we're still stuck on the topic of relationships because the next question says how is your love life my love life is kind of like not existent at all um so my love life is like i'm not seeing anyone and i'm not looking to see anyone and that's the way it's going um um in final year of uni like i kind of really saw like what i want to prioritize and like even though like for example i like would meet someone that i would really like i just felt like maybe like i wasn't ready or or we weren't both like both in the same space so yeah i think i realized since my final year of uni that like i just kind of want to focus on me so my love life is just me and me right now and i really want to take myself on holiday okay next question someone says how can you be an independent woman i think the reason why people don't understand when they're younger why school's important or why education's important is because 
it gives you a skill set um, to be able to become something of yourself and get a job um, or build a business or something along those lines and I think it's really important to if you guys are still in school work hard at school and um, try and like give yourself goals that like you know this skill set is going to get me a job in this place like somewhere that I really want to work or this field that I really want to work in etc because working is ultimately what gives you your inter in independence like earning your own salary and and living off yourself um, is ultimately what gives you your independence when I was 16 I started like tutoring after I got my GCSE results so I think like that really helped as well so look at, look at part-time jobs like, like you can for example babysit you can work in like shopping malls etc but ultimately to be independent like you need to work hard on yourself develop a certain set of skills and start charging for those skills you know what I mean that's what we ultimately do by going to school so or by doing an internship or apprenticeship or whatever it may be um so yeah work hard on yourself dedicate hours of the day on building yourself building your knowledge all of that and that will ultimately help you to be independent i just realized maybe the person meant in terms of like being okay with being single and like not dating someone in which case i don't know how to like advise that to someone i think you need to actually be on your own and experience things on your own in order to know that you'll be okay so maybe at first like it'll be hard for you because you're used to always doing something as a couple or this and that once you show yourself that you can go and have a lunch by yourself or you can have a dinner by yourself or like the best thing that i've honestly done was going to dubai by myself it was the best experience of my life hands down ever like I can't even explain how amazing it was just to, like sit in a restaurant like when I first landed and like what the guy I remember the waiter was like to me is it just you and I was like yeah just me like table for one and it was so nice like I can't explain to you what like, I when I went to Nikki Beach like it was so nice guys um yeah once you do it you'll see that it's really easy to be independent someone said just asking do you listen to classical Iranian instrumental music and I love you too. I love you as well. And they said, P.S. I love your vlogs a lot. Would love to visit Iran one day. I'm half Indian, half Indonesian. Love you too. Thank you so much. And I really hope you do get to visit Iran one day. It's so beautiful. Um, classic Iranian music. I'm getting like stuff like Musica Sonati. Um, I listen to when we go to like Sonati or um, like traditional Iranian restaurants in Iran. But like in terms of sitting in my room and listening to it or in the car, I'm going to be honest with you, absolutely not. The music that I listen to is more like UK, like hip hop and grime. I like R&B music, I like chart music. So that's like the kind of stuff that I listen to. And I like like Iranian chart music as well. Not that we have charts, but like the typical like Sussi Mankan, Sami Begi, Tatalu, Tohi, those vibes I love. Okay guys, I'm trying the mozzarella sticks now. They're probably a bit cold because I've been filming this video for like half an hour. Okay. Oh my God, this sauce is like a salsa I just saw now. It's like a spicy tomato. Mmm. I like the sauce. That's what it looks like. Someone said, I know you're a junior doctor now, but in the future, which field of medical uh, practice do you want to practice in? So I really like obstetrics and gynecology and pediatrics, so one or the other. And in pediatrics, I'm really interested in neonatology. Um, so basically I really like the beginning of life and like neonates and babies So yeah, that's what I want to work in ultimately inshallah Someone else said what uni did you go to if you don't mind me asking no, I don't mind you asking I went to st. George's University of London It was a really nice uni so many of my friends are still there finishing their final year So yeah, love it and I'm probably gonna go back to visit. It's in the south of London in Tooting there's loads of like good restaurants and stuff around there as well so and it's really accessible by the northern line so i really like it finish that that was honestly the right amount of food i hate when my fingers get dirty i literally don't eat crisps with sandwiches and stuff or like i don't eat like burgers with my hands because i hate getting my hands dirty last question i'm going to answer is how do you continue after a breakup so I know breakups can be really hard and like they can get you feeling really down and i'm gonna be honest with you the first thing that always helps is time 
So in the beginning, it's gonna feel rubbish. You're gonna feel really down and upset. And you're gonna feel like this pain is never gonna go away. And you're never gonna find anyone or you're never gonna find anyone else like attractive or you're never gonna be able to fall in love again. And all of that takes time. And how long it takes kind of depends on how long you were together and how deep your feelings were for each other and how involved you are in each other's lives. Um, and that's the second thing to do with how how to get over a breakup is you kind of need to cut the person out of your life and like when I say cut them out I don't mean like go and block them and this and that like no need to be mean but if you're always watching their stories then I think it's good to unfollow them because that obsession over what they're doing um, isn't healthy for you and you're always on edge or you're always nervous like oh my god I don't want to open up I'm gonna pick you guys up like you're always on edge or you're always nervous because you're like oh my god I don't want to open up Instagram and see like that like there's a girl's hand in the corner of his picture or like whatever so you know in that sense it's good to unfollow them and to make sure like that you're not gonna like fall into any sort of trap of like stalking them and like not being able to move on from it um I would also say third thing is go and go to the gym a lot or like go work out a lot because working out puts you in such a good mood and it helps with your like endorphin release and just it honestly when you feel healthy on the inside you feel like better on the outside as well and it's just distraction so the last thing again is just distraction 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 go out with your friends find a good comedy tv show modern family friends they're always good tv shows to go to whenever you're feeling down or like whatever like you need your mind taken off things do that go out with go out to like restaurants i know it's harder now because of covid but we do have more freedom to go out versus the beginning of lockdown which was really hard if you guys were going through a breakup then but um try and distract yourself i wouldn't say like i know some people like say like i'll oh, start dating someone else or something like that but i don't think that's healthy and a lot of my friends who broke up with someone and then started dating someone else like ultimately needed to after they broke up with the second person have a period of being single and coming to terms with everything because they just jumped from one relationship to the other so yeah i think you need to give yourself that time and like another thing i'd say is like self-help books also really help so the secret the alchemist even like you can watch the the secret movie you can meditate every day you can read abraham hicks all of these things like really in my opinion help you and yeah i hope that that's helpful on how to get over a breakup but it's all about like knowing like you have to tell yourself this is shit like i know like it's really like easier said than done but like loads of people you know will have gone through heartbreak at least some point in their life so like just tell yourself like it happens and you will pick yourself back up and it doesn't matter if you're 15 or 50 heartbreak will always hurt and you have to allow yourself to feel hurt at the start but don't mope and don't let it linger and you know move on from it okay so that is the end of this video and the end of our little mcdonald's mukbang catch-up q a whatever i'm gonna call this i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did then give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to me down below we're gonna be back with more vlogs you guys also ask for more fashion videos so and styling videos so i'll have a lot more of that coming for you and any other kind of videos that you guys want to see from me make sure to leave it down in the comments and i will will be sure to film them for you. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!